Director of the Queer Cultural Center, and welcome to the When we started thinking about developing year-round program, and we started when, when we got funded, thank you, San Francisco Arts Commission, for our um, Healthy Communities program, which we said we wanted to bring artists and their communities together with other outside communities and start dialogues about issues within our communities. So when we started thinking about, oh, I don't think we'd be able to get one in during the first half of the year because we have the festival crashing forward and who can get an audience all by themselves? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, give yourselves a hand. Okay? <laughs> You've been the practice weather than ever, and you are all here to see some amazing, amazing work. And I'm really excited to be presenting it here tonight for you. Um, I do want to acknowledge the fact that we also wanted to place this in International Women's Month for a damn good reason. <laughs> so, <laughs> so without further ado, because we have lots of fabulous art coming up, and if you, by the way, have to run to the bathroom, uh, be aware that we're trying to videotape here, so do the dip when you go by the video or go out this way and the doors slam shut. So come in through that back door, you can leave through this door. All right, there will be a Q&A session afterwards, so if you want to stick around for a few minutes and chat with the artiste, that would be fabulous. Now, one of our three fabulous curators for the evening, Ms. Julia Serrano. to welcome you to Girl Talk, Assist, and Trans Women Dialogue. Um, yeah, you can go boom. <laughs> so basically, for those of you who, who aren't familiar with this show or haven't been to any of the other ones, basically this show kind of had humble beginnings sometime around like 2008. And um, as I remember it, um, basically at the FEM conference in 2008, I had the opportunity to speak and I spoke about stuff that I feel like I've been speaking about for like ever, about how sometimes trans women are made to feel irrelevant or invisible, and sometimes even unlovable within uh, contemporary queer women's communities, and about my desire to have new queer communities that celebrate difference rather than sameness, and celebrate the fact that all of us have different backgrounds and different bodies and different histories, and et cetera, right? And afterwards, my friend Gina DeVries came up to me and said she liked what I had to say. And then she said, hey, I have this idea for a show that I want to do for the National Queer Arts Festival next year, and I'm wondering if you might want to be involved with that. And Gina's idea has blossomed into this beautiful thing. And, uh, and so this is the third Girl Talk. Um, the first two took place in 2009 and 2010 um, as part of the National Queer Arts Festival, as Pam said. Um, and basically, they were wonderful, and we had a lot of really amazing performers, and kind of, while they were all amazing, a standout of those shows was um, Elena Rose, who some of you might know as Little Light, um, as her pen name. Um, and she's such an amazing writer and activist that we like kept whisking her down from Portland to join us in our show. And this year we're really blessed, and when I say we, I mean all of us are really blessed because she's joined us, she lives amongst us now in the Bay Area, and so she came on as a co-curator this year. So that's kind of a brief history of what this is about, and what's going to happen now is the show. So basically, we're going to have a series of really awesome queer, cis, and trans women who are going to come up here and share their thoughts and share their stories about our mutual community together. <coughs> And then after that, as Pam was saying, 
um, we're, we're going to try to do, we've always wanted to actually expand the dialogue into dialogue that includes the audience. So we're hoping to do Q&A if time allows. Um, we tried last year and it didn't work. Hopefully this year it will happen. Um, and yeah, and one other thing that I should mention is that I'm emceeing tonight, so I'm not actually like performing as far as like doing a piece. Um, but for those who are interested, I actually made like a little uh, one-off, uh, one-page chat book of the piece I did for the first um, Girl Talk um, back in 2009. And those are actually over there in the stack. So as you're walking out, if you want to grab one, feel free, they're free. Okay, so um, one more thing I want to say, and I want to say it right off the bat, I want to have one more round of applause for Pam and for the Queer Culture Center. <laughs> for the whole National Queer Arts Festival and everything else they do um, to basically merge the, the community, queer community and the art that we make and make it um, available to 